After the establishment of the Soviet Union, one of the key priorities is destroying religion and sort of instituting a new social order. Bells are really important in Russia, not only sort of for their connection with religion, but because they help structure the day. And so they were really evocative of the past society that the new government were trying to destroy. Bells were literally being pushed from towers, and we have photos of this. You can find photos on the internet. And so the fact that they were able to be preserved at Harvard is quite remarkable. The Soviets sold them for scrap metal prices because they needed foreign cash. The bells arrive at Harvard, and it's really clear right away that no one knows how to play them because they're not Western bells. This mysterious figure of Konstantin Sarajev, this musical genius from Moscow, when he came to Harvard, the idea was that he would teach students how to properly ring the bells in the Russian tradition. But he had his own vision for the set, and he thought that one bell did not fit, and so he said that it should be sent back across the waters. And of course, what he meant is that it should be sent back to Russia. And so we like to joke that it didn't get sent back across the waters to Russia, but it was sent across the water of the Charles River to the business school. And so that's why we have 17 and they have one. <laughs>